Hello. Nice here. Rogue Legacy 2. Last part, I actually beat a boss, but it, uh, it was Nama, who is apparently easier than two Aqua Braces. Um, in this part, I guess I could head for one of the bosses I've been trying, but... I kind of feel like seeing how it, things go in the study. I, of course, don't have the warp for that unlock, though, so that means I'm starting in the Citadel. Thing up though, because the study is upward. <laughs> I mean, I could have cheesed them just by making this. It's his whirl around, but seems super unnecessary. All right, getting cash. Oh, I already got that. Oh, sure. Yeah, I like empathies. Normal enemies. Yep. Wow, I'm just not capable of tracking four opponents. Okay, so that run ended pretty quickly. <laughs> huh. I can never play Astromancers, it's rank three. Sure. Try to get some mastery. All right, I still get a focus. Ducky, one of my guests gave me an early wedding present. I know I wasn't supposed to open it, but I couldn't wait. Anywho, the gift was a bunch of soul stones, but I don't know what I'm supposed to do with them. So as a thank you for helping me and the giant get together, I'd like to formally re-gift these stones to you. You're welcome. Who had soul stones to give to you? Hmm. Well... <laughs> Maybe also get an upgrade there. They don't call that old man an architect because of his bad storytelling, you know? Or because of that weird drill of his. He actually invented the prefabricated -fab room. It's the standardization of a room shape, all the way down to wall heights, door placements, and even plumbing. Heck, that manor you're building? It's almost entirely composed of variants of his prefabricated -fab rooms. Why do I have trouble saying prefabricated? Anyway, he originally designed it to help building or build housing quickly for the poor. If you always knew the size and shapes of your rooms, you could get the necessary building materials made in bulk and train everyone on how to build their own attachments in a breeze. He knew that the more people who use the prefabricated room design, the more powerful it becomes, so he proposed his ideas to the king. Well, the king saw the benefits of these rooms and immediately made it the standard for future buildings. Turns out it was the right choice seeing how the shift emerged. If you ever wondered why so many rooms have similar shapes and sizes, you have the architect to thank. He could have kept all those ideas to himself and built his own housing market empire, but he gave it all away for free. That level of philanthropy just boggles my mind. Oh yeah, as somebody who likes making money. Anyway, <laughs> let's uh, I don't even know what this character wants to do, it's an astromancer. I guess get money. Oh yeah, I can't see the damage. Hm. 
Uh, yeah, I think I would die, but... Just seeing that made me think of the Sun Tower achievement for, uh, reaching the sun with the Icarus Wings. If I... Uh, I I'm not gonna be able to see. Uh, I was gonna say, if I deploy a thing and then land on the ground, do I start getting Ivy Roots bonus? <laughs> the world may never know. I guess I could try to count the ticks on an enemy. Oh, but I can't see what level the enemy is, so if I find another copy of the same thing, I don't know whether it has the same HP. Not that I can really simply count ticks anyway. I guess I could like slow down the video footage later, but I think I'll just get Ivy Roots some other time on somebody with the Astromancer weapon. That seems like the only way I'd actually ever bother to find out how that interacts. Oh, there's a treasure up here. I think this run already has more money than the previous. Almost like the Blightborn trials are difficult. Plus, I really wasn't killing enemies that fast. I just feel a little understated. That might just be the way New Game Plus 2 feels. Gotta start relying on, like, being good. I know, what a concept for a video game. Imagine if you had to be good. against most normal enemies. And I'm like, what if I climb the sun tower and then come back for the Icarus wings? I'll, I'll try it. Cannot guarantee success, but it's something different to do. My fastest way of breaking a lot of furniture is just playing through it. I guess spin kicks aren't bad. There we go. even though I took damage. Okay. Trying to be precise with the placement so I get the crits. can't just sit there. That was probably still the easiest way to do that. look like over here? Okay. 
All right, got him. Nice. Oh, wait. There wasn't actually a path up over there. Also, I need to remember that I de-equipped a dash rune. Uh, there's already been twice I've tried to dash a second time and didn't have a dash. Okay, so yeah. All right. Delivered the black hole. Oh, that's an eye enemy. Okay. Okay, yeah, I didn't really need health there, but... Oh. Oh, okay. the enemy got knocked back. Did I? I just saw arrows, yeah. Oh, that's a soft platform. <laughs> a ton of damage. shouldn't hit me. I'm waiting for the next shot. Oh. Open me, don't get hit. I could do this with comet form. Might be throwing the run as a result, but I got a quenching rune. No, actually easy. I even got to stay in the room long enough for the red ether to fly to me. I just comet form cast. Oh, I got greedy for the chest I left behind. Oh man. Okay, blueprint. Warden weapon plus three. Okay, yeah. And I came down here. Just comet form passed. I can probably let it recharge safely. Preserve at least a dash or something. I guess I did have a dash. I just didn't use it. All right? Can I crit you? Yeah, the crit hitbox does reach far enough in. Pretty well on money. Um... Nah, I don't think this weapon handles that room very well. Okay, there are exits up there. Oh, that hurt a little. 
The traps are surprisingly not really an issue considering the uh, extra 30% trap damage. Hey, reach the boss room. I wonder if the sun has to be unleashed for the achievement. I feel like picking up flight is gonna throw the run. You gotta do it, but... Perhaps I'm doing entirely the wrong thing, is all I'm saying. I could have just flown. Okay, achievement unlocked. Maybe wax doesn't melt. So, uh, at least I did that. Is there anything, like, in the corners of this room? Oh! Uh... There was a little fruit guy. I actually saw one of those in another location earlier in a stream. I guess it was last night, not not earlier. I'm recording this on the 12th of July. Um, I don't want to fight a boss while I take 75% extra damage. Normal enemies are going to kill me easily enough. Yeah, maybe, maybe it'll be enough of an advantage against some of the max attacks, but I don't think so. About, about the pirates. No. Nah. The run's definitely thrown for an achievement. I, I figured that when I was doing it, but I'm also not changing my mind about that <laughs> being fact. Maybe there's some, like, fairy chest challenges I could cheese, though, while I have flight. That would be neat. Don't want to head into the dry lake while I can't see. And yeah, I want treasure. Ow. Oh, I opened the chest already. Alright, yeah, that's enough for that room. was actually added recently. needed one more tick of damage. strange that hitting the uh, jump button in the air doesn't actually send me upward. I might get hit at some point as a result of not realizing that I need to also hold up if I want to go up. died. 
Got two ranks of Astromancer, though. Nice. Oh. Right. <laughs> Tried to cancel out here because I was like, I want to go spend the money. Bard with Cartographer, huh? Maybe I take the Ronin with Exploding Casket Syndrome. 80% extra gold, huh? But with the uh, Katana, you're often pretty far from your opponent. Barbarian that got their own weapon, but Knockout Punch. Yeah, I'll, I'll take this Ronin. Got a bit of gold bonus on him. Let's see. More strength, more dex, more health. Bought up all of the tier one stuff I could. What now? More decks? Maybe make sure I can't afford anything in here. I guess now that I've spent the money, I can't. I actually have a lot of ore again. Well, I say a lot, but it's probably like two purchases at this point. Okay, no upgrades for anything I'm wearing. See, right, I wanted to get the uh, drowned set going for my other two slots, but I don't have the plus one blueprints yet. Is, does getting the warden weapon plus three change anything? It might have more strength at least than the drowned weapon plus zero. But yeah, I can't even do all the upgrades now, though. Okay, so it gains five, or four from getting from plus zero to plus one. I can tell from this. So if it is four per level, it would be... Uh, seven more strength. You know, three more strength if I take it all the way to plus three. That seems like I could get strength more easily by just buying strength. Sage Totem asked if I was doing anything today. I said I'm not. He said okay and then left. I don't know what that was. Whee! Anyway, let's uh, spend the rest of the money. Just looking for what spends it closest. I think this int spends the most of it. This Ronin... Oh! It's the little guy! Um, Ronin does need this. Nobody needs this anymore because... I already got gold. Ronin would need it if I was trying to push all the high scores as high as possible, though. Anyway, yeah, let's, let's try spre spreading poison with Ronin. Then maybe get, like, one boss attempt on somebody into this. Sure. Give it a try. I guess Achilles' shield kind of synergizes with... Uh, Ait's sword, or however it's pronounced. Both of them rely on not getting hit. I guess, is that a synergy, or do they just do the same thing? Oh, relic broken. Yep. if I just stay on the ground? Ah. Imagine thinking the Kotetsu could uh, get me out of anything. So 
near where you land, you don't deploy another fireball. Or maybe that was just like luck. Okay, I think I'm doomed here. They want to give me a good pattern though. was trying to not move horizontally so that I would stay at the skill crit range. spin kick was meant to accomplish. Those small movements that enemy keeps making really throw off the skill crits. Alright. Victory. I'll take it. Silver trophy. Maybe, uh, hit up both of these. Still 21 items away. Does Strange Transaction add to this? I don't want to do it now, but... That's a question I hadn't considered. Alright. Last run of the day. Unless I die before reaching a boss. I'm planning on challenging Lamech, though, so... <laughs> that would be moderately embarrassing. Oh. Well, that's not a good start. Oh, wait. Let's get our treasure. Where's the... Okay. It's like, where's the soft platform? I knew there was one somewhere. Okay, and this was just this room. Just switch to control pad so that um, I make fewer mistakes with turning around while trying to aim up. Uh, you sure had a lot of projectiles thanks to the flamer trait. Yes. Don't need pizza. And even when you're not giant, it's a long weapon. <laughs> Dashing into the wall didn't save me. Wow, I thought I could walk under that. All right, the sun tower is up there. You have the option to head there. Forgot about the explosive flask. Was just focused on hitting that enemy through the wall. Oh, there's not space there. <laughs> I have no reasons for that one. Yeah. I'm Surprisingly bad at estimating where those flame jets actually hit. The hitbox is always a little larger than I expect, even though, like, you're literally in the flames. There's, there's no reason to expect it to be that small.
Guess I didn't get quite as many blueprints as I was hoping for while I was in the sun tower. But then I did avoid getting a lot of chests. Thing against bosses. Sure, Vanguard's banner might help. Oh, if I avoid dash, since it's an extended dash, the uh, wave doesn't last the whole time. Flame the jets there, by the way. Huh. That destroys furniture. I probably knew that at some point. Yep. Doesn't destroy enemies, though. That was a uh, science to see whether it did en damage to enemies. And everybody believed me. destroys the black roots too. I mean clumsy destroys those. Oops. Speaking of being clumsy. <laughs> Is the I'm trying to remember what length I'm gonna take this. I think the tip is outside the circle. Which also gives me a pretty good indicator for, yeah, telescope. Yeah, it's a pretty good indicator for actually getting the skill crits too. That's funny. Where are we going? Right? <laughs> okay. Right, the fact that the void dash lasts longer than the wave. Okay. Oh, huh. So some of the skill crit range is too close to get the telescope bonus. The explosive destroyed some of the tower. I might have needed that part if I wanted to. Well, I ate two hits for it. Ah, uh, three. This let's at least finish destroying this. No food. I'm getting telescope hits that don't skill crit. Um, not worth. Where is it? Wait. Lose 23% health, gain 18% damage. Yeah, that's that's not worth it. Alright, well. Try it. 
Made a good amount of money for not leaving the Citadel. I guess I'm still thinking in terms of like old levels of New Game Plus. But yeah, like, I think that was like 15 minutes though. Maybe even counting the Scar Challenge I did. to a direction before I guess I could have tried to like Kotetsu downward, but yeah, it's just hard to locate or hard to realize both that you're in danger and that there's a safe spot like a distance away, you know? I've never taken Histrionic. Well, I mean, I gotta reveal the trait, right? It didn't have a gold bonus attached. Numbers are exaggerated, okay. Yeah. <laughs> 1,000, 2,000, <000. laughs> yeah. Okay. Anyway, let's spend the money and call it a video. Uh, spend the money on what? I guess get this. Since I paid the souls. Do I want to start working on focus as well? I don't think so. Like, I'll take the cheap in, but. I think I'm more interested in strength decks for my main scaling. It's useful to be able to one-shot the slug enemies and the wisps. Oh, Charon has something to say. Okay, I'll I'll do this challenge too, and then it'll be the end. Yeah, this is fine. I guess no gear equipped. Okay, that makes sense. I, I was kind of wondering if, um, there was a specific set you had equipped for Scars. Um, I do apply Vulnerable, but I think the Voltaic Circlet is better. Right. Why did I try to dash through the enemy? the one where you jump in the air. I thought they were gonna jump. I still don't know the gong head tells apparently. Let's let's take the sick empathy.
this might be better than Wardrum. Not certain. Oh. I don't need the aura to last longer. Hey, Wardrum came back. And I deal more damage because I put another empathy in. So you point your weapon up if you're gonna jump, and back or something if you're gonna charge. Yeah. Alright. them eliminated, didn't get turned around in time to dash. Ah, wasted the vulnerable because I had to climb a stack. Will you stop that? They're no. both so low. Okay, got him. Okay, how are we doing on total points? So I think like two, no, it, it would be three more wins with that exact score would do it. If I'm mathing correctly, maybe two. Because there's the 800 on there. Let's see. One would certainly get you over 200,000. Just, I don't feel like trying the mental math for the rest, I guess. Okay, so yeah, like, Valkyrie, Bard could probably do it, Ranger, yeah. There are plenty of good classes left. Anyway, that will be it for this part. In the next part, Maybe actually beating a boss again. I'd like that. <laughs> yeah.